like even watching Trevor, that's probably the best example of leadership that I've gotten. And then, it's one of the best one I've gotten. And I was barely there and I barely saw him. But like, he's a very, very, he is truly like equanimity. Like he truly is like, knows how to. It petrifies me because, because to be a leader, and this is where fatherhood has helped to play a role a little bit, is that. If I'm, and it's not just, this isn't just hosting the daily show. This is any show that I go and produce and I become an executive producer or I go to some other network and I'm gonna go do my own thing. You're still in charge of 95 motherfuckers. Yeah. And you got to figure out a tactful way to get them to want to try something that they may not necessarily see or understand or even agree with and give their all to it and not be resentful in their effort right. in the moment. And that is a way of talking to people that more often than not, there is no class to take. There is no prep course. Mm -hmm. You just have to pray to fucking God that you had good examples along the way yeah. and you do what they did. And that's, that's the best that I can hope for because like I've, I've used this analogy before with leadership, but like with my son, I'm his first general. Mm-hmm. For the most part, I don't yell. I'd say 95% of the time. And even then, I'm not screaming. Nah, 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 nah. It's just, hey, dude, hey, stop making me well, ask you three times. it's also a thing that times. you have to use judiciously in that, like, you want it to work. Although yelling does always work yeah, no, with children. After a while, though, it doesn't, like... Like with kid, because even with whippings with me, I got whipped as a kid. But somewhere around fifth grade, my mom stopped because she just knew I didn't give a f like. You're gonna do your thing. Yeah, you're gonna whip. Go on with me, motherfucker. Yeah. So she had to figure out new psychology, and she did. She evolved. So it's the same thing with me. Where all she right, evolved to electrocuting you a little bit, right? <laughs> I motherfucker, I stab you. <laughs> get get my like, taser. Like Bo Jackson's mom, who like pointed a gun at him one time. Really? That's yeah, funny. some story about that. But like with my son, I've t I've told this analogy before, but like when I'm working with him and we're building Legos together, there's like there's like two ways to do Legos where you can follow the instructions, right? And we do the instruction, and then there's times where we're freestyling Legos. And we're just both building shit. And he'll try to tell me what to do with my pieces. And I'm trying to tell him what to do with it. And it's not fucking working. But if we both agree before we start building, all right, hey, what the fuck are we building? Building an airplane? All right, cool. Check it out. You do the fuel slodge. You do the front. I'll do the tail. We'll do the wings together. Deal? Deal. Cool. And whatever we put together, we just combine and it's the smoothest fucking thing. And and like that's that's really where I learned the whole concept of like, oh, you've got to go team go before you break huddle to even go and fucking do the thing. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.